Hello and welcome dear viewers to the another informative topic on in process quality control tests for tablets and in this video we are going to learn about the testing which is performed onto the tablet formulations during in process or during the compression see generally the tablet formulations are made by weight granulation direct compression or by roller compaction process and after the blend is ready for compression that time these in process quality control tests are performed on the tablets and mainly the in process is performed onto the core tablet that we are going to see after coating some in process controls are also performed like disintegration lod of the coated tablets thickness sometimes and the other tests which are not included in the finished product so these are the tests which are performed in process and some of the tests differ from product to product and also from company to company or organization to organization different frequencies are there depending on to the manufacturing process run time and the formulation type there are various types of tablets and based on the tablet types these test may be change little bit so quality control test for tablets are divided into two parts like in process test and finished product test so in process tests are those which are performed during the compression run in the production then these test results are noted into the bmr and generally these in process tests are performed by the production person and the quality assurance person who is handling the in process quality assurance then test results are required for the next process so in this sometimes the qc testing is performed on to the core tablets and based on that result the tablets are proceed for the next processing the example is assay of core tablets to go for film coating or enteric coating then finished product test include these uh, the test which are after completion of the processing and these are the test which are done in qc and qc will report the results of the test into coa that is certificate of analysis and in the current video we are going to see the in process tests so in process tests are description or appearance then tablet dimensions tablet weight and weight variation test hardness testing friability testing and the disintegration time so first is appearance once you start the machine you start the compression machine and take out the tablets you perform the initial testing for visual appearance then weight hardness thickness and disintegration and then you continue for the compression process so once you start the machine and you get the required parameters that time these in process tests are performed and there is a frequency of 30 minutes or for some of the test as 1 hour or for some of the test like 2 hours depending on to the production run or compression run time some test are frequent some test take longer time for the testing so for example if you are going to check the visual appearance visual appearance and the visual identity is the description of the appearance that is tablet description or appearance and this test is not a official test it depends on to the product the embossing and punch tooling may product vary to uh, may vary from product to other product and also from organization to other organization and these appearance are based on to the toolings for example white round tablets with l debossed on one side and five on the other side always see the debossing and if the punches are embossed 
then tablets will be debossed. So don't confuse between the embossed and debossed. So punches are embossed and tablets are debossed. Then free from physical defects. The tablet should be free from physical defects like uh, there should not be any cracking or there should not be a collar for the tablets. There should not be uh, sticking, picking or the tablet surface should not be rough. Then include the brake line details if score tablets. If you the tablet is uh, having a brake line, that time that description should be given the brake line. For example, white oval tablets here you can see in the picture. You can describe this as white oval tablet or capsule shaped shape tablets, plain on one side and brake line with brake line on the other side. And here this tablet you can describe as white to avoid tablet plain on one side and ECB debossed onto the another side and free from the physical defects. Then description is required to identify the product. Then patient acceptance. If the tablets are broken or cheap or double embossed, then patient acceptability will be hampered. Then problem free manufacturing. If your tablets are good in appearance, that means there is no problem into the compression machine and tooling and the compression process. Then batch to batch uniformity. To detect the problems like chipping, double embossing or double impression you can say, dragging, sticking, picking and rough surface. Then black particles are also required to be checked during this initial visual checking or visual identification. Sometimes black spot may appear which may come from the machine or oily spot uh, which may come from the uh, oil from machine or grease. So those things are required to be checked. Once this is done, then we move to the dimensions. So dimensions are diameter for the round tablet and length width for the oval shape tablet or other shape tablets. Then thickness is universal test for the tablet formulation. These tests are not official as these product, these uh, tests are product specific. Diameter for round shape tablet, length and width for shape tablets like oval capsule shape and other shape. Then thickness. So this is the length, here is the width and this will be the thickness. So this will be the thickness. Tablet dimensions are measured using vernier caliper and given into mm. Generally the 5% of the st or stringent limit is given for the thickness based on the acceptance acceptable uh, hardness and the weight variations like you have a thickness of 10 mm for example i am taking 10 mm and then you are giving the 5 percent range so that will become from 9.5 mm to 10.5 mm so this is regarding the dimensions then there is a weight variation test so for weight variation test Individual tablets are weighed and the group tablets are also weighed. Then weight variation testing is official test. Description and the thickness and dimension test is not official but weight variation test is the official test. And as per IPBP, USP and European Pharmacopoeia, this test is performed. Individual weight of each tablet and group weight of 20 tablets is performed. 10 tablets are collected and weighed individually to calculate the average weight. Then no more than two tablets are allowed to the outside the variation limit in the table below. And no one tablet differs by more than two times of the percentage limit. So the simple meaning of this is if your average weight is for example 200 mg then as per EPVP you will get this 7.5% limit. And the tablet should pass this criteria. To pass the criteria, no tablet, no, not, no more than two tablets are outside the range of 7.5. And if the tablets are out of this 7.5, then no one tablet differs by more than two times the percentage limit. That means 15%. So this 7.5 will go to 15%. That means twice the percentage limit. 
no more than two tablets are allowed to outside the variation limit in the table below and no one tablet differs by more than two times the percentage limit so these percentage limits are given as per the tablet weight like 10 percent 7.5 percent and 5 percent if you your tablet weight is lower then you will get higher limit and once your tablet weight is increased then you will get the stringent limit so as per ipvp usp these specifications are given then hardness test once again this is not a official test because hardness is formulation dependent hardness is process dependent and hardness is a product dependent one company formulating a paracetamol tablet will have hardness of around 50 newton the same strength product manufactured by other company will differ by the hardness so hardness testing is done to ensure that the tablet can withstand the mechanical pressure during manufacturing process and the processes like coating packaging storage and handling so tablet should be having sufficient strength or sufficient hardness so that the next processes can be done otherwise the tablet will break and next process will be problematic hardness also indicates the disintegration time see if you want a high hardness tablet then it will compromise the disintegration time and also it will compromise the dissolution for some of the formulations hardness limit are given based on the r d trials for scale up batches and Based on the scale up and validation batches, hardness challenges to the production batches. In scale up and process validation batches, these hardness challenges are done and then the limits are derived for the production commercial batches. For the test, use minimum 10 tablets. Then hardness range depends on the tablet weight and composition. Monsanto hardness tester, Pfizer hardness tester and automated hardness testers are used nowadays for hardness testing. Generally in many of the organizations automated hardness and thickness testers are being used. These testers monitor the thickness as well as hardness. Then coming to the friability. So I have made a specific video for friability testing you can go through the channel and watch that video to have understanding about the tablet friability. USP chapter number 1216 is for friability testing and friability testing is an official test. Also one thing here to note is that generally all the tablet formulations have friability limit of not more than 1%. So friability is an in-process test for core tablet or uncoated tablet done to study the durability and whether the tablets can withstand the further processes like coating, handling, packaging and transport. The percent loss in the weight of tablets after friability testing is called friability. The loss in the weight from the surface of core tablets due to abrasion or attrition of the tablets. This test is also known as drop test, attrition resistance test and abrasion test. USP general chapter number 1216 is for the friability testing. In this testing, generally 6 point uh, as per the USP chapter, the tablets which have the average weight below 650 mg, for those tablets 6.5 gram tablets are taken and if the tablet weight is above 6.5 mg, that time 10 tablets are taken for testing. Then disintegration testing. For this test, six tablets are used. Then disintegration testing is also a official test, but the disintegration time vary from product to product and the formulation design. Disintegration time is the time required for the tablet to disintegrate or break into the smaller particles uh, or you can say granules when you are performing the test and the, the time for the formulation to completely disintegrate and pass through the uh, this tube of the disintegration testing apparatus that time is known as disintegration time. DT time is indicative of the dissolution and bioavailability. 
USB disintegration apparatus are used for this test. Initially, six tablets are tested. Here, the six, uh, this basket will have six tubes. This basket will also have six tubes. So, in each of the tube, you are going to add tablet, and this beaker will contain the water as a media at 37 degrees Celsius. Then this test will be performed, and if one or two of the tablets fail in the disintegration testing, then additional 12 tablets are tested. The requirement is met if not fewer than 16 of the total tablets of 18 are disintegrated. That means first you have taken 6 tablets, then if one or two tablets fails, then another 12 tablets are tested. And out of these 16 tablets should pass the test. Uncoated tablet DT time is 15 minutes as per BP and 30 minutes as per USB. Film coated tablet DT time is 30 minutes as per BP. Plain coated tablets DT in specific medium for 30 minutes as per USB. Sugar coated tablets 60 minutes as per BP. Also, there is a specific requirement for the enteric tablets. These tablets, enteric coated tablets or delayed release tablets have specific DT time. I have made a separate video on disintegration testing and you can go through that video to have complete knowledge. So these are the tests uh, for in-process quality control for the tablet formulations and it is very important to understand the requirement of this test, how to perform this test and what are the limits. So these tests are important for the pharmaceutical professionals to know in detail and in depth. I hope you will get good knowledge out of this video. Keep watching the Pharma Learning In-Depth channel. Thank you.